Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you the Amon motor. The Amon motor is a DC motor prop controller. It allows you to control wiper motors with park functionality, linear actuators, or even LEDs. On the case up here, we have the isolated input. That's for your sensors or triggers. Next to that is the stereo audio jack and then the power supply. Down here we have our standard output zero, the micro SD card, and then the motor or light output. So here we have the most standard setup for the Amon motor. We have a 12 volt, five amp power supply and a wiper motor connected up using the red blue and yellow wires. That yellow wire is optional. It is only used for the park feature. So if you're not going to use park, you don't need the yellow wire. You can use the green wire instead of the blue if you want the motor to spin slower, but we always recommend to use the blue wire. To record your animation, you are going to make sure the knob is not turned all the way to the left. So we're just going to leave it in the middle. There's a little detent in the middle where you can see it lock into place. Press and hold play record until the light turns red. Now you can move the knob to where you want to start. So the more to the right towards forward you go, the faster the motor will go that direction. Then when you spin it closer to reverse, it will go faster in the opposite direction. Right in the middle, where the knob locks into place, that's off. So I want it to start in the off position, so I'm going to leave it there, and I'm going to let go. It's now recording, so if I move the knob towards forwards, we can see it spins, and then as I go more towards forwards, it gets faster. Now if I go back to the middle and then the other direction, the motor will spin in the opposite direction, again getting faster as I go. Press play record to stop recording. Blue means it's saving. And now it's ready to play. I'm just going to move the knob back. Pressing play record will play the recorded animation. We can see we took a second to start, but then it will play it back just as we want. So right now the controller is in idle and it's not doing anything. If you want your motor to move while in idle, waiting for an input that is, you can record an ambient animation just like on our Mon Quadro. To do that, you're going to spin the knob all the way towards the AMB REC there for ambient record. You're going to press and hold play record just like before. But instead of getting a red light, we're going to get a magenta light. So when we release this, it's going to start recording. So just like before, you can move this knob to any position you want the motor to start in. And then when we release, it's going to start out at that speed. You can record your sequence and then end it. And then once it's done saving, that ambient animation is going to play continuously until the controller is triggered and then it will play the regular trigger animation. The Amon motor has many configuration options you can set by using the configuration menus. And I'll show you how to get into that and describe it. So first you want to turn off the controller, press and hold play record, Plug in. When the light turns red, you can go ahead and release. Now, what you'll see is the light flashing, and that light will change color or how many times it's flashing based on the knob position. So right now, we can see it's only flashing one time and in the color red. And if we change it, we get three flashes. So as you change this, you get to different flashes and then eventually different color flashes. And those represent different options in the menu. 
and you can select that option by pressing play record. So if you look in the user manual, you'll see all the different modes the Amon motor has to offer and the amount of flashes and color to get in the menu. One of the unique features of these wiper motors is the ability to park, which means that uh, it can end in the same spot each time you play your animation. And to do that, you need to have a yellow wire connected into the P on the output. You then need to tell the Amon motor that you want it to park after playing your animation. And to do that, you can use the configuration menu. So we're gonna get into that by pressing and holding play record letting go when the light turns red. And if we look in the user manual, we see that to toggle motor parking, we need the light flashing three times and to be the cyan color. Okay, so we just happen to have the knob in the right location, but if it's not, you can just spin the knob until you get three cyan flashes. That's two. All right, that's three, but it's always good to watch it flash a few times just to make sure you're in the right mode. And then we're gonna press and hold play record and that turned on or off motor parking. It's a toggle. So if you had it turned on, it'll turn it off. And if it was turned off, it's now turned on. So what that looks like is we're gonna press and hold play record to record a new animation. We're gonna give it some speed. And then we're going to end with it going at a certain speed. And when you have motor parking on and the motor ends going a certain speed, it'll continue at that speed until the park position. It just doesn't go into park position when you're recording. So we press play or get an external trigger. What we'll notice is that when the light turns green, the motor will continue moving. to that park position. So the park position is actually a range on this circle of the motor. So you might get a little over here, you might get a little over there, it just depends. If you want it to be more precise, you can end the motor going slower. So if we play again, we'll see again, it ends in that position. And you cannot change that location, but what you can change, you can loosen this nut and rotate this and retighten it. So now our park position is going to be over here. And that's how you can adjust where that is if it matters to you. The Amon motor is unique in that it does feature sound. It comes with the included micro SD card, which you put your MP3 files on, and it has a stereo jack for connecting to powered speakers or an external amplifier. You can't hook up unpowered speakers directly to this because there's no built-in amplifier. Putting these sound files on the SD card is very easy. There's two folders, one for your ambient sound files and one for your trigger sound files. And there comes instructions on the SD card for what to name those files because that is important. If you put ambient audio files on here, the controller will automatically play them even if you do not have an ambient animation. But you can still record an ambient animation to go along with that audio if you wish. If you wish to add a delay to your program, you can record a pre or post delay built into the controller. And so when the controller is triggered, it will play a pre delay before playing the recorded animation and a post delay after that recorded animation is finished, that delay will happen before returning to ambient or standby. So that's a good mechanism. If you want a 30 second delay after your program's triggered before it can be triggered again, since the controller cannot be triggered in the post delay. 
So you set those delays in the configuration menu. Release when it turns red. And if you look in the user manual, there is a delay configuration submenu. And to get to that, we're going to go to four cyan. So that's probably about right there. That's five, just a little bit less. All right, again, I'm going to watch it a few times. All right, that's four. So now we're going to get yellow flashes indicating we're in that delay configuration submenu. And now in here, one flash is record pre-delay. Two flashes is record post-delay, which is what we're going to do. So when I select that, what's going to happen is right now I'm holding play record just so I can get a few words in. When you release play record after selecting this menu option, it is going to immediately start recording that delay. And so that the amount of time you want is going to pass and then you're going to press play record again to stop recording the delay. So I delete flashing magenta indicates we're recording post delay. And that seems about good to me. Press it to save that length of time. And so now let's show this by recording an ambient animation. Seems good to me. And so now when we play our regular animation, what's going to happen is the motor is going to stop and now we're in our post delay. So that length of time I sat there with the controller recording is going to go through and then the ambient is going to resume again. The Amon motor, just like the Amon Duo and the Amon Quadro, has our signature output zero. Now, the default mode for output zero is to be on when the animation is playing. So it's just a standby right now and the light's off. But if we go to record, we notice that light turns on. We record our animation, stop recording, and it'll turn off. Now, whenever the controller is triggered, output zero will turn on. And this could be used to turn on a light for a prop that sits in the dark or control a solenoid valve or whatever you wish. It could even trigger another controller. Output zero has different modes. The default mode, as we just showed, is on all the time. There's start mode, which is on just for a second at the beginning end mode which is on for a second after the animation has finished and that's unique because you can use it to trigger other controllers when this one is done then there's start and end mode which is on at this uh, for a second at the beginning and on for a second at the end and then of course there's strobe mode so you can have it strobe and led and i'm going to show you strobe mode so we're going to go into configuration. We're going to release when it turns red. And now we're going to turn the knob all the way to the right and we should get five cyan flashes. All right, we'll watch it one more time. Now, if we push this button, we're going to start getting magenta flashes because if you read the user manual, we are now in a different configuration menu. We're in the output zero sub menu. So to get strobe mode, we require six magenta flashes, which just happens to be all the way to forward. But if we turn it to turn it somewhere else, we'll get different magenta flashes, which indicates a different mode. But we want strobe mode, so we're going to go all the way to six. All right, now we're going to select it. So now output zero is in strobe mode. So when we press play, we notice output zero strobes instead of being steady on. 
If you ever get your controller into a state where something's weird or you don't know what settings are on and you just want to reset it to factory defaults, you can just follow the easy factory reset process. The factory reset will erase your recorded animations, but it will not remove any audio files from the SD card. So if your audio files are the problem, you don't like them, you want them removed, you have to put your SD card in a computer to remove them. But to factory reset the controller, we're going to turn it off, press and hold play record, and plug it in. But this time, when we get the red light, we're going to continue holding. And now we need to hold this for about 30 seconds until we get a solid blue light. So there's our blue light, and that means we can let go. This is now erasing everything on the controller, all the settings and recorded animations. Now once we get a green light, that factory reset is complete. It's important to not turn off the controller whenever you have a blue light. So now that it's green, we're back at all the defaults. So as stated before, the Amon motor has the ability to control linear actuators. Linear actuators are unique because they take the circular rotation of the motor and turn it into a linear movement by extending and retracting. And you can control that extend and retract with the reverse and forwards on the Amon motor. So if we press and hold play record, and then move towards forwards, we can see the linear actuator extends. And the only downside of linear actuators is they're generally pretty slow. So once that fully extends, it will stop. And we can then move in reverse and it will retract. Now linear actuators are really easy to wire up. They'll generally have a red and black wire and that goes in the plus and the minus on the Amon motor output. If you want to control LEDs with your Amon motor, you can. It's very easy to hook up dimmable LEDs. Just go positive to positive and negative to negative, and you'll be able to control your LEDs. They must be dimmable LEDs though, and preferably 12 volt. Now, if we go into play and record with our LED hooked up, you'll notice that going into the forwards direction makes it brighter and going in reverse does nothing. That's just, that's just the way the LEDs work. If you want to have finer control over that LED, you can change the knob mode to full range. Right now it's in half range because half the knob is forward, half the knob is in reverse. But if we go into the configuration menu, and according to the user manual, we need two cyan. And then select that. What we just did is we toggled the knob mode from half, which is the default, to full range. So now if we press and hold play record, what we notice is all the way to the left is off and then all the way to the right is on. So you have a much finer range on the knob to get those flicker effects or whatever you need to do.